very happy to have Mr. Travis Pacheco back with us again. Mr. Pacheco is a bodywork practitioner and Tai Chi Chuan instructor on the North Shore. Today, he will share with us some of the structure and energy training for Tai Chi Chuan. Hello, my name is Travis Pacheco. This is the second part of a series on Tai Chi Chuan structure energetic training. Today's video, we're going to focus on some of the posture and single movement exercises from Tai Chi. I personally feel single movement exercise is the most important. If you practice the form, you practice always the same sequence, it's hard to develop each individual movement. You have to take each movement, hold the posture, check your alignment, check your connection, make sure everything's in the right place, then move. And throughout the movement, make sure everything's connected the whole way. You're not forgetting about something somewhere. Make sure shoulders always connect, always drop. Make sure the body talks to itself. All the pieces connect. Left and right, connect. Forward, backwards, connect. Up, down, connect. Every movement. Look at the transitions. When you step, make sure everything is still connected. Everything's in alignment. Take the time, slow it down, look at everything, make it clean. Then when you do the form, everything will already be correct. You can link all the separate movements together. So first thing to look at is the weight shift. Usually when people have a posture problem, you can find the problem in the legs. Usually something's out of alignment and it's affecting the whole rest of the structure. You stand on the feet, legs on the feet, body on the legs, arms on the body, usually looking to the floor to find the problem. Make sure the toes are pointed where you want them to go. For this exercise, I recommend the toes straight forward and just shifting the weight left and right. Now the width of your stance is going to totally depend on your own range of motion, your flexibility, and your leg strength. If you're standing too wide, you'll notice that you don't shift all the way to one side. You've cut it short. You're not all the way above one foot. Bring the foot in a little bit. Get it to a place where you can sit on one line. Toes, knees, hips, all in alignment. Shift to the other side. Check again. Toes, knees, hip, all in one line. Now this can be difficult at first. In normal life, we don't usually pay too much attention to how our legs actually work. But over time, it, you start to develop good habits. This will strengthen the knee stability, give a good place for the knee to go. All the muscles work together. If you start moving too far in, too far out, the body has to compensate. The knee mostly only works in one direction. And it can spiral too, but this is the main movement of the knee. Shifting back and forth. Make sure the hips move on a line. So there's no rotation. Only left and right. Looking from the side. 
just left and right movement. No turning and no turning the other way. One line. The hips sometimes tilt. Sometimes you'll have a nice alignment, but one will be dropped or maybe pulling up. So you have to keep level. Check this side. Is one pulling up? Is one drooping down? Keep on a line. Another thing that happens is the push, the hip is pushed out sometimes. Push it back, keep that line. Other side, check. Is it pushing out? Other thing that can happen is you can start to pull the other hip up, put it back down. This way it creates a lot of tension. The body's leaning, all the muscles have to hold the body back up. If you make the spine straight, the whole body's more balanced. All the muscles can relax. They don't have to do the work of pulling yourself up. They'll stack everything, spine straight. Same thing goes for forward and backwards. Spine straight. Don't lean forward. Don't lean backwards. Don't push the hips forward. Hips sitting down. Don't push the back backwards. Everything's straight. Tuck in the chin. Tip of head pull up. Lengthening the spine. You should feel the tailbone pulling downward. Tip of the head, upward. Same time. So after you practice this and create a good habit for the alignment of the leg, you can add the waist turn. When you get to one side, all in a line, back straight, turn the waist. When you turn the waist, keep the back hip where it is. Don't let the hip travel with the waist. Leave the hip, turn the waist. So they're actually opposing each other. Hips trying to turn to the right, waist turning to the left, or creating an opposing force. Shift to the other side, stabilize the hips, turn the waist. So there's constantly this opposing force in Tai Chi. Always one thing goes one way, one thing goes the other way. If something goes up, something goes down. Something left, something right. Forward, backwards, spiral is the same. Always something opposing something else. You can put your hands in front of your body to give you a frame of reference of where the body's facing. Pay special attention to that back hip. Don't let it fall forward. You can have the arms out if you like. One arm, make sure the waist is turned. Shift, turn the waist. Let the hand face out. Keep an eye on that back hip. 
Make sure it hasn't fallen forward. Shift. Turn the waist. Shift. Turn the waist. So the waist turning carries the arm. So my arm's not passing in front of my body. It's my waist that's turning. Now this is a lot of different things all put together. If you can't figure it out in one day, don't worry. It'll take a long time. But everyday practice. Sometimes just work on one thing. Sometimes work on two things. Over time, you'll develop the habit. It'll just become a part of your body. Switch the arm. Shift. Turn the waist. Shift. Turn the waist. Remember all the key points, tip of head pulling up, chin tuck in, shoulders relax, all right? Don't hold them up, let go. Elbow sinking, fingers extending, and push the hand away from the body. Not straight, but have that dynamic. You wanna feel that the back, pushing back, hand pushing forward, expanding. When you use two hands, it's much easier to feel that connection. You feel like a ball. Back pushing back, arms going forward. If you look from the side, expanding, back push back. Arms forward. Shoulders relax. Don't hunch over. Keep the back straight. We'll have that sphere feeling. Expansion. Body, carry the arm. Body move first. Arm following the movement of the body. Body go, arm goes. Watch out for leaning. If you're in a Tai Chi class, your teacher can help you. If you're practicing on your own, use a mirror. Take a look at what you're doing. Don't lean, body straight. Arms relaxed. The next one, we're gonna add the figure eight spiraling of the legs. I usually don't recommend this for people who have knee issues. Sometimes you develop a problem where the knee will twist. So if you think of the tibia bone in your leg standing up, the femur sits on top. You want that connection to stay there. You don't want it to twist. This often happens that's why you practice with the toes forward, shifting back and forth. Keep the hips stabilized. It'll keep your knee connected, strong. If you use the spiraling, you still wanna keep it connected. But because of the opening of the hips, you can actually start to twist and spiral the legs. But you have to keep that knee connection there. <clears throat> But this one, you want to sit back to one side, spiral from the hip joint, open up, rolling outward. 
keeping that connection. Same thing on the back. Keep this knee out. Don't let it fall in. Don't let this one fall in. Open. And now you have this ballooning out, this expansive feeling in the legs. Same as the hands. Open. Turn. When you turn, make sure this knee stays out. Don't let it fall inward. The other leg still turning out. Sit back. Turn. Again, watch the back knee. Don't let it fall in. Open up. Sit back. Turn. Sit back. So the hips start making a figure eight. Keep that expansive energy. Don't let it collapse. Keep open. Open. One hip making a circle. Other hip, same circle. Together, create a figure eight pattern. And this exercise, you really have to take the time to train it. Don't just go mindlessly through the practice. You have to pay attention to how the legs are spiraling. Pay attention to the alignment of the knee. Don't hurry, take time. Nobody ever got good at Tai Chi by being in a rush. Take time, relax. And a lot of the same principles apply to the hips. Don't let one tilt. Don't push one out to the side. Don't lean the body. Keep straight. You can add the arm. Uh, expanding out, arm away from the body. Sit back, turn the body. Sink, sit back, turn the body. So again, arm just going along for the ride. 